Good morning. We're doing our morning daily devotionals together, and um, we're going to use the sermon notes that Everett filled out yesterday uh, during our live stream. Right now, I'm going to have Everett read from John 10. Go ahead, Everett. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. So one, the question is, Jesus describes his relationship with us like a shepherd taking care of sheep. In what ways are you like a sheep? I'm like a sheep because the shepherd takes care of the sheep, just like Jesus takes care of us. So you're like a sheep because a shepherd takes care of his sheep just like Jesus takes care of us. Mm -hmm. That's right. Jesus does take care of us. So who has God placed in your life to take care of you? Um, Because other people can take care of us, right? So Jesus, right? So Jesus fully cares for us. Who has he given you in this world to take care of you? Me and daddy? So Jesus said that God is Father. God the Father is greater than all. This means that our Heavenly Father is stronger, faster, and smarter than Superman, Captain Marvel, Iron Man, Wonder Woman, and the Hulk all put together. Does it? Does the Scripture actually say that? Because they're not real. No, that wasn't. I wasn't reading from Scripture. Um, That was Pastor Brandon's words, but he wanted us to think about the fact that. Jesus is greater than all of them combined. You know that, right? So what do you think it means that no one is able to snatch you out of the Father's hand? Mm, It makes you feel safe? Uh, It makes me feel safe, too. Um, We were also looking at, what was it, Everett? Psalm Psalm 23? 23. Can you read? Can you read that psalm for us? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul and guides my, me in my paths of righteousness. For his name, for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. This Psalm of David, what do you think about it? Who is he saying is our shepherd? Jesus. And will we be in need of anything, for anything, if we have Jesus? No. We won't. Who can we pray for today? Mr. Danny. We can pray for Mr. Danny for his cancer. What can we thank God for? Today's Daddy's birthday, right? We can thank God for giving us Daddy. We can thank God for his word and for being our good shepherd who takes care of us and for keeping us safe and for loving us and knowing us fully and still accepting us because um, he's made us his through his blood, right? We can thank Jesus for laying his life down for us. So why don't we spend a few minutes thanking Jesus for being our Savior and for laying his life down for us. We can pray for Mr. Danny. We can thank God for for Daddy. And um, weren't you saying earlier you wanted to pray for people who don't know God? Okay. Can you say the part? um, Can you pray for Mr. Danny and for the people who don't know Jesus? Okay. Let me start us out. Thank you, God, for this day. Lord, we, um, we thank you that you're our good shepherd. God, and that you love us and that you've saved us and you've sacrificed yourself for us. Help us to remember that, God, and to turn towards you when we want to go astray like sheep. And mm-hmm. pray for Mr. Danny's cancer, that he would get better soon, and that people who don't know you will read the Bible and believe in you. And God, we thank you for Daddy. We thank you that you um, gave him life and that he um, leads our house and loves us so well. And we thank you for this time that we've been able to be in your word. 
Lord, I pray that the truth would be on Ben's heart and Everett's heart this morning. And we love you, and we pray that you would lead us in all that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Two devotionals that we love using are the one-year devotions for boys and exploring grace together. And they both have an opportunity to just discuss scripture and uh, pray together. Bye. Um, We hope you have a wonderful day and pray that you feel comforted by the Good Shepherd, that um, you feel his presence and peace, and that his word um, goes deep in your heart, and um, that you're reminded of the truth, that you are deeply loved and deeply accepted and in Christ. We are so thankful for you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.